Hey, what's up, True Feelings family? Thank you for showing back up when I show up. If you're new to my channel, my name is Crystal, and I hope you stay. Guys, last night episode with Chance and Taylor was absolutely disgusting, and I know, I know we all felt it. Like, I didn't want to judge this lady on her mothering skills, but at this point, we got to say something, because I watched some bullshit last night, and it was just absolutely disgusting the way she let that shit go on, the way she let it go on. Like it's not a very good start. He got pissed at this girl and made a big deal for those of you who may not watch it. Made a big deal because she did not want to eat pizza from him. Excuse me. He got mad because he couldn't feed her ass. Wanting to know why her ass wasn't eating pizza because she always eats when he eats. Are you not hungry? You don't need dinner with me? I said, motherfucker, this ain't prison. She ain't got to eat when you eat. This ain't no time schedule for her to be on because you was on that shit for eight years. What the hell are you saying right now? I'm going to speak whatever on my mind. I don't care who it is. But then he gets explosive when she tries to explain to him, well, it's eight o'clock. I don't want to eat. I'm not hungry. Well, then why do we order pizza if you don't feel like eating? So now he starts cursing. Now, at this point is when she should have took her kids and had them go to another room. But instead, we see this little girl all over his ass. I do want to take a shower. I'm cranky. I'm tired. Hugging him, okay? Which I'm so tired. I'm tired of seeing this little girl all over this man who she barely knows. I'm sick of that shit. Why are you being cranky? So after she points out his damn behavior, the little girl tells him the same shit. Listen. You're being really crazy and mean. I'm not being crazy and mean, dude. Did you see the expression on that little girl's face? She was pissed off. Why are you putting your child through this bullshit with this man? Why? Why are you letting your little girl go through this shit? And she said she don't like arguing in front of her kids. Then why you have them there? I don't like seeing Chance yell or be mad about anything. You silly ass heifer. Why? I hope you're watching this video. Y'all t- I ain't gonna say tear her up in the comments, but you guys need to give her some kind, loving thrashes in them damn comments. And what the hell is up with her sister Bobby? I thought Bobby was there to keep an eye on things and keep an eye on his punk ass, but her ass don't do nothing but stay in the damn room. She should have been out there when he was out there talking shit and cursing in front of them kids. Bobby, you need to get your shit together and get to be the watchdog need to do to this girl because she ain't raising these kids right because what i saw like i said like that shit was damn disgusting because i watched that little second year uh the, the second little girl she was pissed off she was highly pissed off so now it pops up and they all in the bed cuddled up ain't talking about shit hold on wait i'm gonna look at all these phone numbers he's talking she's more concerned about a list of female numbers and having a conversation with this man about him talking like that in front of her daughters because his ass should have been out that house i would have said don't you ever in your life if you got a problem with me don't you ever raise your voice at me in front of my kids don't you curse at me in front of my kids don't even curse in front of my kids at all curse cuss curse like he's got a curse as i think it's cuss but here's the thing I'm pretty sure he was probably raised the same damn way. That's why it means absolutely nothing to his ass. Take it or leave it. You don't like it, get the f out the road. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. But it should mean something to her ass. She needed to get his ass together. Fuck. Sorry. And I have to say that strong. Them damn numbers about them damn chicks. Who gives a shit? You need to be addressing him about how he talked to you in front of your children. Simple ass girl. I'm not really the one to be fighting in front of the kids. You really do. Grow up. So he turns into a bigger asshole as I continue to watch this shit and addresses her 
about the damn picture in her damn phone of her kid's father, who is deceased, by the way. But he's gone. I'm just wondering, like, are you having a hard time letting go? Wanting to know what are you hanging on to. First of all, I would have said, I ain't got to answer your damn questions. That is the father of my kids. Okay, I want them to always know that they did have a father in their life. So the pictures will stay in there. Period. Don't ask me about that shit no more. I do feel like the photos need to be taken down. I feel like they should have been down before I ever came home. Now, on the other side of that, if he finally get his head out of his ass and turn into a real man, a respectful man, a fatherly man, an honest man, someone with good character, and they get married, then it would make sense. You ain't got to get rid of the pictures, but then he could put his picture up somewhere. But don't tell that lady to remove a part of her kid's life out of the side of you because you feel in some kind of way. You kiss my ass. You ain't even paid fucking rent, bought, paid, bought shit. You, we ain't seen you do shit, sir. <laughs> so you can't come in there telling her what to do with the kid's daddy's picture. You don't have shit to say. I don't know how you guys feel about that. Let me know how you guys feel. Because that shit pissed me off. Now, now I really, I really want this man out the house. I do. I want his ass out the house because she is easily manipulated and controlled by this man because she's so desperate for the day. But you were the last person I started talking to, baby, and you're the girl I picked. Yeah. Yeah. That's all she care about is her relationship and having a man. I don't think it's so much as her wanting to have a father for them damn kids. Because if that's the motherfucker you picking for your kids who gonna curse you out, have a temper tantrum over some damn pizza, some damn pizza and act like that in front of your kids and you could clearly see your kids were upset girl you're really mad at me right now over some pizza what about what about you? you need some help and you need to get um you need to get some confidence in your life because barely you don't have any and that's what you're choosing god works in mysterious ways and i want a family so bad i still don't like chance and I don't think she should be given chance a chance. Screw chance. I don't like chance ass. I just, you know, that that um solidified my feelings for his ass at that point. Watching him act a fool in front of them little girls. You know, it just it, it, it just what really got me was just looking at the other little girl's face. The baby, she's just like, I love you, chance. I'm sick of that shit. Get that baby off of him because he ain't shit. And I could tell as the kids was running around playing and shit, he was kind of annoyed. He was already annoyed. He always say he takes shit out on simple ass Taylor and feel bad for it. But then he do something just as bad the next time we see his ass. Like you was just as bad this week than you was last week. So I don't know what the hell his dumb ass going to do next week. But I'm not feeling Chance. And I'm not feeling her. Right now, girl, you are... <laughs> <laughs> we not. I'm not feeling you, and I don't think anybody is. After watching that episode last night, tell me what you think, y'all, down in the comments. Uh, don't be an asshole. Bye. Because if there's something to know, tell me. If there ain't, then act right.